So we got this the Jablo combination blade. It's a 10 inches 50 teeth blade. So mas pinili natin yung 50 teeth compare sa 40 teeth na na Jablo blade, which is uh, specifically for general use. So ito kasi I will be using this for uh, cross cutting and rip cutting pine woods, plywoods, and sometimes hardwood. So mas advisable gamitin to the combination blade. Combination blades kasi are designed to both uh, cross cutting and rippings. Ang mga ngipin kasi natin are arranged into group of five. Ito yung ating yung first four if you will notice ang tawag dyan ay ATV. So yung ating ATV na yan for general purpose yan. Especially in cross cutting. Then after nung ating four na ATV meron tayong galet. Ito yung, yung space between the two two teeth. And then after nun, ito yung tinatawag natin na FTB or yung flat tooth blade. So ano ba ang purpose ng FTB na yan? Ito kasi yung nagpaproduce ng flat bottom na mga grooves. So for example, sa dado, gagawa ka ng grooves. So mas fine yung pagkaka-finish niya. Mas pantay na pantay. And then at the same time kasi yung, yung ating FTB, Uh, mabilis siya pumutol it cuts quickly yung kasing low tooth count yan yung nagbabawas ng friction syempre pag less friction mas mabilis mag slide through yung kahoy na pinuputol natin with a less effort and isa pang main purpose ng ating FTB uh, you can cross cut and rip cut with ease So now, we will replace my 30 teeth lotus blade. Uh, magpapalit tayo nitong ating job no, na 10 inches din naman but a uh, combination of 50 uh, teeth blade. At first, doubtful na talaga ako gumamit ng job no blade since alam ko ang arbor size nito is 5 over 8 or 15.87 millimeters in European standard. And during my research and nakalagay naman sa ating blade ng lotus, is it is 25.4 mm so ang laki ng difference nila syempre I do research din kasi nakakakita ako na gumagamit ng lotus table so uh, fruit job yung video yung gamit nila and I'm very thankful sa ating mga kaibigan especially kay Marky of Firebender Ninja so kung di ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel niya search mo lang Firebender Ninja and makikita mo yung mga pyrography art niya so, this is the lotus blade yung 25.4 mm Most of us didn't know this. Kala kasi natin, even ako nung una, na ito na mismo yung arbor size niya, which is 25.4 mm. Na ito naman yung actually nakadeclared sa Lotus Table. So, even you search it on the internet. Pero, meron pa pala tayong O-ring sa loob. So, ito, ang arbor size niya is exactly the same with that. It's 5 over 8 or uh, 15.87 mm. So, ibig sabihin, sakto yung diameter ng blade natin sa pinaka-shaft ng ating tables to. Before kasi, ang alam ko lang na kasamang o-ring nito ay eh, ito eh, yung 20mm. So, ang ganda pala. So, we have three options ng sukat ng blade. So, pwedeng itong 25.4mm, pwede tayo mag 20mm, and pwede tayo mag 5 over 8 or yung ating 15.87mm. Kapitan natin! So, let's test it na. We will now check its performance by cutting this pine wood, three-port plywood, and my hardwood. This is Anara.
for the three port plywood ito yung cut niya so maganda na uh, ang kinis nung loob medyo may mga small splinters lang tayo ito yung sa pinaka ilalim I think uh, mas mawawala yan kung meron tayong zero clearance insert and then kung gusto nyo talaga ng mas mas fine pa dito pang cut ng plywood siguro you need to go for the 80 tip na fruit blade and for the pine wood nag rip tayo ang ganda talaga ng pagkaka rip kinis and then last thing, yung ni rip natin ang ganda mararamdaman mo sa pag push nung kahoy eh. uh, parang halos napaka lesser effort compare sa blades na I used before then nung nag rip cut tayo ganda oh. halos wala na siyang splinter katulad dun sa triport plywood Based on my actual observation, uh, while using the blade, uh, ripping uh, pine wood, a three port plywood, cross cutting a uh, hardwood, and also ripping it, nakita ko naman talaga kung gaano kataas yung quality ng blade na to. And for me, I'm sure mama maximize ko yung ganda ng quality ng pagpoto ng blade na to. Since uh, commonly I'm using the combination of pine wood and three port plywood on most of my projects. Ang i-observe na lang natin dito, how long will take effect yung ganda ng quality na pagputol ng blade natin na to. And once again, this is your DIY Dad. I hope may natutunan ka sa video na to. And kung di ka pa nakasubscribe, mag-subscribe ka na para hindi ka mahuli sa mga susunod pa nating mga videos.